they call it AVCAT, the Aviation Combined Arms Tactical Trainer. What it really is is a number of simulators using anything from AH 64 A's and D's to UH 60's to CH 47, all working in concert to produce a simulated battlefield environment and give our people the best opportunity to train in near real world conditions without having to break a sweat. AFCAT is a flight simulator for the Army. It has six cockpits. All six cockpits are reconfigurable to any Army aircraft, so you can do a mission with any combination of Apaches, Blackhawks, Chinooks, or OH-58 Delta helicopters. We also have a battle master station where we have contractors that run the battle along with the commander, and, and then we have an AAR room, which we're currently in right now, where after the mission, you know, the commander will select what he wants uh, to review with the troops, you know, what areas they need to improve, what areas they've done well, they can come in here and they can actually see it live, how they flew the collective training mission. Aero TV is brought to you by... Today, there is an affordable, high-performance, easy-to-own and easy-to-operate very light jet designed with you in mind. Far less expensive than any other twin-engine jet to buy, it is also the least expensive to own and operate. It is the Eclipse 500, the jet that's easy to buy, easy to fly, and fun to own. The jet for you. It's definitely a simulated environment, but we do connect to other simulators. For example, today at ITSIC, we have a UAV simulator, the TIMS, with the MUSE technology, and we, we're actually bringing that, that uh, video feed in from that simulator into uh, into the AVCAT. And, and then for this conference only, uh, we're actually bringing it into the A64 uh, cockpit so they can actually see it in the cockpit. Though so that is not a capability of the, um, the AVCAT continuously, it's more of a, it's a test for this conference to show that we could do that capability. And we probably will add it in the next year or two. We can support the A64 Apache, the OH-58 Delta Kiowa Warrior, the UH-60 Blackhawk, and the CH-47 uh, Chinook helicopters. For the Army National Guard is where the real capability of having a movable, transportable training system comes into hand. And at an active site, units are there. But at an Army National Guard site, they're spread out over a state. Instead of having the, those pilots come to the AVCAT, which a lot of times they would not do, we can bring this training device to the soldiers at the Army National Guard site. So, and we do allocate a certain number of moves more for the guard for that purpose. And it does take uh, but one day to tear it down. We can drive it cross country and, 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 and then set it up in the, the second day. We have to contract a truck to come in to get it. And it takes about a half day to shut it all down, tie it down. The truck will come in and, and pick it up and take it to its next location. And it doesn't come with its own uh, truck. We do contract for that. Aero TV is brought to you by Cirrus aircraft have always been easy to fly. Now they're easier than ever to buy. A complete line of ownership programs gives you everything you need to purchase, trade, finance, lease, insure, and warranty your Cirrus. There's even an ownership program for non-pilots. The Cirrus Access Pilot can teach you how to fly or fly the plane for you. Find out more at www.cirrusdesign.com. Cirrus, for the love of flying. Currently, we have 15 AFCATs fielded. Okay. Most of them are with the active component. Right. And, but we're going to have a total of 23 um, that will be produced, and we have a lot of the Army National Guard ones that are, are coming out through 16 through 23. And we do have three or four uh, guard suites currently fielded at this time. There's six cockpits, so we'll have, at the max, 12 pilots, six crews, and then we have the four crews that actually come with the AVCAT who do the you know, prepping it up. When we use the AVCAT, it, it's, not, it's not as quick training as in we can't come in and, and train like in the next minute. What we have to do is do a lot of prior planning. So they actually use the same mission planning system that they do in the real aircraft. So if you have an Apache unit that wants to do a collective training in the AVCAT, They'll go on the same mission planning system that they use in the aircraft, and they'll take that data. It's a reformat in a, in a different way, which we provide them that, you know, that information. They take that same data, and then they can load it into the AVCAT, which takes, so they'll have to do the same print plan they do in a real mission, 
when, when they fly the real Apache helicopter, which you know, may take three, four hours of, of work. Okay, that's our first look at Avcat. And keep in mind one thing. In a day, this could be someplace else. They'll pull this whole thing together. Everybody will pack it all up. It'll be somewhere down the road working with teams all across the country, or for that matter, around the world. AVCAT, just one great way the Army is getting the aviation job done here and elsewhere. For Aero News and Aero TV, I'm Jim Campbell.